Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox, the outdoors edition. We are in a cabin this week, but we are still here to talk about spa. It's her favorite one, so we couldn't miss it. Oh my but gosh, yes, as I she am. said, Belgium this week. My favorite race. I love it. I love it. So yeah. we're going to get right into it. Um, I forgot what we were going to talk about. I'm going to talk about how people want to get rid of spa, and I don't think they should. It's a pet peeve. It, it pisses me off because it is one of like the historic races, and I don't want to get rid of it. And they're trying to make changes to make it safer, and I applaud that because it, I, that first turn... A Rouge is pretty dangerous, and yeah. they lost another guy, an uh, F2 driver, I think, mm -hmm. this year. So, so like they do need to make changes to that first turn during the sprint race with the rain. It was very, um, yeah, very anxiety ridden. Um, I think that's another problem with Spa. As much as I love it too, and I don't want it to see it going because it's a historic track. It's just they moved it up to get rid of the raining season, and it still almost still, got canceled for rain. Yeah. So it's like it's, but it dries so fast because mm -hmm. they're used to it. So yeah. I don't know. I don't think they should get rid of it. The rain makes it exciting. Yeah, and I mean, it, it did, and I think making this a sprint weekend was also way better than a few of the other races they've chosen in the past yeah. for sprints, um, because I think passing on this track, it's not just on the straights when you have DRS. It's everywhere. So yep. I, thought, I thought this race was a lot of fun because of how many overtakes there were, and even if it was like, Who's gonna be in fifteenth? It was still exciting to watch, you know, um, like Danny Rick back there with um, Hulkenberg. Like, right. Who? Yeah. So I think that it's just such a fun track, and it's Belgium. Like no one can be mad at them. And I don't know. I really don't think they should get rid of it. No, I don't think so either. But with you, you led into there with a sprint race. We were both kind of hesitant with it being a sprint race because we're like, it's such a long track. It's the longest on the calendar. Only forty-four laps. Yeah. Like, is that going to? make the sprint even exciting and then with the rain the sprint race was only 11 laps but that was probably the best sprint race of the season yeah so personally i was one of the big detractors of sprint races last year this year with the new changes where qualifying on friday for the race sprint shootout and then a sprint race on saturday and the race on sunday i think is an infinitely better system. yeah last year I, I hated sprint races I yeah think this, they're just trying to make it more exciting and it doesn't need to be because now you have people that aren't really wanting to like I felt like the drivers didn't want to race because what if yeah something happens and I felt like it was just unnecessary and stupid um, but I love that there's like a little mini race and it has nothing really to do with the actual race right and it just adds a little bit of excitement I and I think the fact that it was at spa and it had the new rules I loved yeah. it yeah I mean not only that but Alonzo went out I know when's the last time you've seen Alonzo make a mistake it was crazy. Yeah. But, like, again, it didn't affect him. He lined up at P6 or whatever on the race, mm -hmm. so he was fine. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. So, um, sprint race is way better this season. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys think. Um, I'm a fan of sprint races if they keep it up in this format. Seems like the drivers like it better as well. I th well, yeah. Like, you're not having another race to turn Because, like, what if you just have, like, a crap day? And yeah. Then, it just like, messed up your good qualifying. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. I like it better in this format. Um, I know last year I was very, very passionate about sprint races being um, <laughs> gone out of my life for good. Right. So, uh, okay, Spa, you got me, you got me. Yeah. I'm back. So, so the race itself, can you, as you can kind of predict, Leclerc was on pole, which obviously means Max Verstappen won. Um, I think that's Max how, is... That's how math works, right? That's how math works, yeah. I think Max has got more wins from Leclerc polls <laughs> than his own polls, which is terribly sad if you're a Leclerc fan, but... A fun little stat you didn't need to know. Yeah. Um, which then we watched the race and how exciting it was. And we were just like into it, like passing it, like weird areas and all this kind of stuff. And then we talked about it. And we're like, this is a really exciting race. But Max was already up by, I don't know, a million and a half seconds. Yeah. Was, yeah. So we were like, <laughs> if you took out Red Bull this season, this would probably be one of the greatest F1 seasons. Because second best team is Mercedes, Aston, McLaren, Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Every week it's somebody different. Yeah. So, like, if Red Bull didn't exist, this it, would be a banger of a season. It would. But and it, but I feel like every every decade or every era has, like, that dominant team. So, it's kind of hard to say that when, True. like, during the Shimmy era and then the Hamilton era. Um, but I think there was still a little bit more excitement where it wasn't, like, I don't know. Was Hamilton up this much? I don't, I don't remember Hamilton ever being up by, like, these drastic amounts where, like, 
I know he had a fast car, but it was like, even like Nico was with him. Yeah. So it might have been Hamilton way up, but Nico was with him, or, mm-hmm. you know, Alonzo was with him at McLaren. It wasn't yeah. ever just Hamilton by himself. Okay. So, okay. and like Shumi kind of was, but then you had Villain Vettel era. Yeah. Which Weber was never really with yeah. him. Yeah, because I'm like, are we just like in the moment, like, oh my goodness, what is happening? Like, right. Yeah. Max is up there. Let's focus on everyone else. But, I mean, Max beat his own teammate by 22 seconds. No, oh, yeah. So, like, and Checo was only, what was it, seven or eight seconds ahead of Leclerc? Yeah. So, you take, I, I take it back. Don't take out Red Bull. Just take, take out, out Max. Max. Yeah. Because Perez has his, his off weekends. Mm-hmm. So, if That's you just took true. out Max, this would be a really exciting season. Yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 it's tough because you can't. Be like, oh, how is the, how would a season go if so and so wasn't right, there? Right, right. But we'll just go with it. It would be like a it would be. banger of a season. Yeah, but I mean, Max and Red Bull just absolutely deserve it, right? They did everything right, mm-hmm. so we're not saying they don't. It was just we're just trying to like find something to talk about other than Max winning by thirty seconds again. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, Piastri and Sons DNF uh, racing incident down that very first turn. That was a good call. Um, I was worried they were going to give Piastri a penalty and there was Sons a penalty, and it was it was definitely racing incident. Yeah, but then unfortunately they both, both DNF, had to yeah. um, retire the car. Um, overall, I liked the race. Yeah. Um, once again, no safety car. Which, which is was shocking. Very weird for I don't understand Spa. how Spa has no safety car. Like, that was the one. We played this game where we had to predict, like, what's going to happen in the race. And safety car, we're like, well, we haven't gotten ready this season all season. We're like, but, but it's, it's Spa. But none. Safety car. No safety car. That's going to be our point every time, every video now. We're going to yeah. bring up the fact that there is a safety, safety car or not. Which I didn't think I need to talk about, but... Evidently. Evidently, it's historic. 2023. Right. Here we are. So, yeah. Now, sad news, it's the summer break. So, we'll try to pump out another video about something yeah. else. With the drive silly season, if that actually ends up being silly. But other than that, we probably won't see you guys until... What is it? September. No. I think it's the next race. We have three weeks off? I thought it was four. Ew. I think it's maybe three. Yeah. Maybe but three. it was it was it was a fun like race First right before um summer break yep. and then um yeah. drivers need a break. They've they've been pushing. Yeah, yeah. And then um we'll make a video if there's any new like driver contracts, any drama where we need to spill the tea on stuff. But <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Yeah. I love spa. I don't know. I could talk about it talk about it all day. Yeah. So have a happy summer break, guys.